Aloha, hey, it's Julie Zemos, 365 Kona. Hey, you know what? I have been writing blog posts for my 365 Kona website for quite a few years, and I came up with one recently. It's called The Six Characteristics of Moving to Hawaii, and I put it out on my social media channels, and people went nuts for it, and people felt that I hit the nail on the head, as they say, so I wanted to share it with you here through a video. So. I'm going to read the blog post and hopefully you'll find some uh, truisms that you may need to know about moving to Hawaii. Do you know how many of my friends I have here in Kona that secretly divulge to me that they are introverts and really aren't into large groups of people? Or people who come here who leave within two years because they are lonely or can't seem to fit in? I'm not a psychologist and I wrote this partly tongue in cheek, but here are some of my experiences. Ready? Personality characteristic number one, lone wolf or introvert. If you are surrounded by your best friends and are having drinks out in the driveway every Friday night and waving to your neighbors as they drive by while you send up a cheers, come join us. Or if you have your family over every Saturday night for barbecue to catch up, you are most likely have no desire to move 2,500 miles out to the middle of the Pacific Ocean. People who move here tend to be folks who see the opportunity for adventure in front of them not hanging on to their childhood friends and memories behind them. Moving to Hawaii means you have to start over and finding new friends. Or not. I have quite a few friends whose spouse is their best friend and they are plenty happy just hiking, swimming, and dining with that one person. And that's okay by them. There are people who create community here by being social. But if you ask them, they probably have an introverted spouse at home. Personality characteristic number two. Avoidance of collecting stuff. If you lovingly touch your tchotchkes and dust all of your figurines you've collected for decades and revel in reclining in your lazy boy while soaking in the satisfaction of your book collection on floor to ceiling shelves in front of you and the photo frames on all the walls of your house, you may have a problem getting rid of your stuff. You need to let go to move to Hawaii. After writing my Kona Newbies group for almost nine years, the number one bittersweet and sometimes heartbreaking moments come when the garage sales have to happen to lighten the load to move here. My mom surrounded herself with a treasure collection of penguins, de Grazia figurines, Moran sculptures, cookbooks, and antiques. When I suggested she jo join us in Kona so she could watch her grandchildren grow up, I could see the struggle in her eyes of having to get rid of all the things she had in her home that made her happy. Sometimes the pleasure of being surrounded by your stuff outweighs the pleasure of sitting on a beach with the sun in your face and the sound of palm trees rustling in the breeze or even your grandkids. Personality characteristic number three, a strong sense of self. If you can't wait to show up at the next party in your fancy car or your luxury brand clothing or can't seem to help yourself asking what people do for a living or how much money they make, well, you won't like living here, especially on Hawaii Island. No one cares. And no one is going to compete with you either. One that midship may be a form of sport on the mainland, but it's the fastest route to being shunned on this island. People who have to impress others with what they can buy for themselves may live in second homes here, but living here full time, no, because no one wants to play that game. You may have to take your Harry Winston marbles and go home. People who give generous, generously of their heart, their time and their wisdom are esteemed here. You may call that sharing aloha and you can do things differently. Personality characteristic number four, cultural awareness. It's not a hidden secret that the Hawaiian culture is strong here. Hawaiians value respect of their culture, their land, and a way of life. You have to take your mainland ego and check it out the door to learn the history, the language, the values of this culture in order to feel you belong here. We all come as Haoles, we just do. But watching, asking, learning, participating, and caring goes a very long way towards happiness here. I hear stories of folks saying that they encountered angry locals. I always ask, what were you doing? If you were trying to pick up a sea turtle for a selfie or walking past a sign that said Kapu to explore further, jumping into a sacred pond or snapping your fingers or the equivalent to get someone to move quicker while well, you're receiving the same energy back that you're putting out there. Say it with me, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Personality characteristic number five, open to new things. When you live in a place for a long time, you get comfortable with how things are. You get so comfortable that you would believe that any new place you go, you would want the same things in the new place as you had in the old place. You may even think that if you went to the new place, you would try and change that new place to the place you came from. If you live in Hawaii, you have to let go and accept, appreciate, and embrace the new things. 
So if you are a creature of habit, you find that you can't be happy unless everything is to your liking and being in a completely new environment is stressful, maybe an island with a whole new culture and way of life is not for you. Personality characteristic number six, adventurous. Hey, have you ever read the poem, Throw Off the Bow Lines? Let me refresh it for you. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than by the things that you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the sail of harbor, catch the trade winds in your sail, explore, dream, discover. If this is your motto, you should move to Hawaii. If this scares the hell out of you and you don't feel comfortable throwing bow lines, leaving safe harbors, dealing with trade winds, hurricanes, lava flows, pandemics, dengue fever, earthquakes, tsunamis, or cultural upheavals, well, maybe you should unpack your suitcases and stay put because living in Hawaii is an adventure. It is full of uncertainties and soul searching and wondering if this was the best decision you ever made in your life and missing your friends and family and well, so much more. You need to have an extra well of resiliency to live here. Trial by fire. So if you've ever watched a season of Alone on the History Channel and munched your popcorn while watching other people suffer and thought to yourself, I could never do that. I want you to know that at some point a giant cockroach will come into your life here. You will likely deal with creepy, crawly, jungly type things that make you post it on Facebook and everyone will say, ooh, but you will also see things that are so beautiful that when you post them to Facebook or share them via text to your family, they will think you are on the adventure of a lifetime. Aloha.